welcome everybody. Thanks for hopping on to hear from Jeremy again. Um, this is, I think, probably call number three where we're learning about optimizing our Johnny blockchain bot strategies. Um, Charlie has been working um, diligently on this platform as well. So thank you, Charlie, for taking time also to be here um, together. And Charlie is going to, I'm going to turn it over to you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Francine. Uh, Charlie Stivers. And yet, I, I guess I got to know Jeremy about two years ago through another uh, platform and just always looked at him as a leader. And, you know, he would always message like, hey, these bots are pretty cool. And I said, hey, Jeremy, by the way, who's doing a decentralized bot? And he said, oh, we're working on it. So flash forward about a year later and about uh, November, Thanksgiving break over here, um, really connect with him again. And he said they're ready. So I jumped in uh, the second, third week in December, and it's been an amazing experience. I think a lot of us on here have had a great time um, seeing how it works, how to uh, maximize our profits. And that's um, what we appreciate from Jeremy, the founder of Johnny Blockchain. He's just been a great resource for us on how to uh, optimize these things even further and be more profitable um, it is not a set it and forget it. So um, it's great to have uh, our Telegram group and even him and other leaders within there uh, answering some questions that are not covered in the videos. The video library is super helpful. So they've got all the resources for us. So let's dig into it. Uh, thank you, Jeremy Rush, uh, for being uh, on the call today to, to help the community. Well, thanks for inviting me. Uh, it's always a great pleasure to be here. Um, now, what I want to do is probably the easiest thing to do is to share my screen. So I'm not going to go into history of Johnny blockchain and how long we've been doing robots and whatnot. I think it's just better to sh share the screen and get stuck straight in. Um, so let's just see. Uh, da -da -da. I always get mixed up with this. It's, that says desktop advance. I don't see entire screen. I don't know. It's, uh, um, if you, yeah, it should be the very first share should be your desktop. If you choose that. Yeah. So let me try that. If I've got, cause it's normally comes up with Chrome and things. So let, let's mm -hmm. try that. Okay. Um, and let's see if I've got Chrome. Is that, can you see Johnny blockchain on the screen? Yep. We got Thank it. You. Lovely. Right. So uh, I need to minimize all these pictures and whatnot. Um, so tools are in the way. Sorry. Now with Johnny blockchain, if you've got a budget that's low, or you're a person that's got a, a budget that's not so low, then this robot is perfect for both situations. So what I'm going to do quickly or briefly in this in this uh, demonstration here is I'm going to show you an idea of what you could do if you've got a very low budget. But one thing I want to say is if you have got a low budget, you know, I'm talking 50 or or $100 somewhere around there, that's what I would class as a low budget, is I would ask two questions. Because the, the two questions that you you should ask yourself is, you know, because whenever you're buying coins or trading cryptocurrency or trading anything for that matter, you know, things go up and they come down again. And they don't always go up as quick as you'd like them to go. And sometimes you can be sit holding a coin that you maybe don't want when you've got a low budget. When you've got a higher budget, you tend to, the bot can get you out of trouble that much easier because it's got a bit more leverage for it to, to trade with and if i if i click on this plus sign and show you what i mean with a higher budget and i'm going to go to this expert mode and i'm going to go into too much detail here but if we look down the bottom here these are all the possible trades that the robot can do as the market drops because obviously in a in an ideal world we'd like it to be in a bull market all the time but you know every bot can make money in a bull market but what you want is a trading robot that can make money in a bear market and johnny blockchain is designed to do just that and that's why it's got all these trading strategies here. Now, you need a, a bigger budget to take care of all these strategies. You can have a drop in the market of around between 78 and 99 percent drop in the market. And Johnny Blockchain's robot can still trade and still make you a profit and still get you out of trouble. And I'm going to tell you about some new tools that we're introducing to get you even more out of trouble when it comes into a bear market. So let's say now that you've got uh, a budget of $620 there. That's what you'd need to set up this bot if it was going to use all of these trading lots. These are the lots here. Lot zero is the very first trade it does. And it goes all the way down, right down to the bottom. I think it's 38. There you go. So 38 trades it can do as the market drops. Now, I've not really come across any bots that go past sort of eight lots, you know. Um, so if you start your, your trading robot when the price is higher for a particular token and you decide to start your trading robot, you know, and you're at the top, you're at the, the highest price, 
then it starts to fall down. I found that normally about, you know, eight lots is about the maximum it will drop. But if you're starting a robot with a small budget, you know, so if I was to come here, see what's keep an eye on that to uh, that's 622. And if I start to delete trading lots off using this, uh, uh, this rubbish bin or trash can, I think you call it in America, but we call it a rubbish bin. So if you start deleting this off, you see that that's gone down now to $82. And I can go down even further, take that down to $50. So I need a budget to set this robot up for $50. Now, I always say the two questions. Let's get back to the two questions. If you're going to be trading on a low budget, you want to be choosing a coin that you're happy to hold for a little while. So like Bitcoin, for example, if you're going to, if uh, I don't mind holding Bitcoin, I've bought Bitcoin for many years now, and I don't care really if the price goes down and it takes a long time for it to recover because I'm happy holding Bitcoin. You might like Ethereum, you might like Solana, you might like um, AVAX, you might like Tron. So I would, if on a lower budget, I would try and pick a token that you're happy to hold into your wallet. Because let's, if we look at these settings here now, you know, you start the bot off and it buys in at ground zero, which is this first lot. Well, the default settings are saying if the price drops again by 2%, it will buy the next lot. And if it drops by another 3%, so that's 5% lower than what it did uh, lot zero. Then if it drops 7%, with these default settings on a low budget, you haven't got any wiggle room to get out of the trade. So what I like to do is if I've got a low budget, and um, I've, I'll show you some bots in a moment, is I will look at the chart. And I will do, let's just do that. Let's just go and have a look. Let's have a look at a chart quickly. So if I choose, let's go down and choose, this is a Dex, here's a cake one, right? So I'm going to click this and it, hopefully it's going to open up the trading chart. And uh, never work with children, animal on the internet because everything seems to take that much slower when you're on on a call. Right, so if I, I go on the full mode here and let's just see where this where the price has gone on this token. I can't see this at the top here. Bear with me. How can I move them tools? So we need 314. So we're down the bottom here somewhere. Do that. There we go. Right. So if I come zooming into this chart and I do this, this is what I would do if I was on a low budget. So I would say, look, I can see that there's some big movements here from, from down the bottom here up to the top. So I go on this little tool here and then I come down to price chart. Uh, price range i've got it saved as my favorite and then what that does is it, it pops it on the screen there if you can see it on the screen i click on that and all i do is i go like that and go from the bottom up to the top i can see that that's a move of six percent now i may want to change the uh maybe go for an hour candle because that will give me some more movements let's have a look so there's my six percent let's drag that in a bit more and drag that across and i can see from well, so we're coming back here the uh, 1st of February, if I get my little tool again, so I can see from the 1st of February up to the sort of the present day, there's been a move of 36%. So that means if it's gone up by 36%, there's a chance it could go down by 36%. So if I come back to my trading robot and I was setting up a cake one, that was, I'll click on here and uh, I'll change this to uh, pancake. And uh, in here, I'm just going to type in cake. And it will give me cake either with the USDC or USDT. Uh, I'm going to do it with this one. And then I'm going to leave it inactive. Leave it inactive. And then all I would do is come down the bottom. Oh, sorry. Come up to here. Put it on expert mode. And then I'll just delete some of these lots off. Okay. So I want to delete them off. Let's assume that I've got uh, $70 that I want to trade with. So if I drop this down, just get this down to. And it doesn't matter if you take this. I've got $72 there. Okay. So that gives me. Quite a wide range if I've got $20. The lowest it will let you trade with is $10. So this means that lot zero, the very first trade it would be, would be $20. Now, because that had a drop in the, a change of 38%, I may want to say, well, I'll, this next trade, I'm going to drop that by 6%, 6 somewhere around there, because that was the other movement I found over there, 6%. And then this one here, so that's 6% from the point that it buys in. And then this one here, I could maybe put uh, another percentage of three, four percent and keep going until I've made up, you know, the 36 percent right down the bottom here. You know, so I could probably go 20 odd percent down in. You would add those up, which would be because ground zero is where it buys. And then these percentages are from that ground zero. So this would be minus six percent, roughly. This would be minus nine percent from ground zero because you've got three percent plus the six percent there. And then you've got this. Uh, 
uh, another seven percent so you'd have 16 percent, and then you've got that 20 odd percent whatever you like you know so you you can play with those settings there uh, there's no one setting that will fit all tokens and the good thing is with it is if if your bot you know doesn't do anything and it's you think oh it's just sitting around because the market's now not doing these big movements you can come back in the bot and adjust the settings you know you, you're not going to break anything you may want to just say, well, look, let me start the bot off with two lots. That will be lot zero and lot one. And I'll let it drop by 6%. And if I look at the chart now, and if I zoom in a bit, I can see that the price is going down. It's going down and it's starting to go up. So I could start my bot. But let's say if I was looking at this chart like this, and I could say, oh, the price is going up. And if I get rid of that, look, the price is going up. So what I could do is I want the price to sort of go back down again before I started my bot. Well, I could come in here. I can either put a, a minus number in here so I can go down the minus side and say, well, I don't want my bot to stop until the price drops by, I don't know, 4%, 3%, whatever I want to put in there. Or if the, you know, I feel that the price has found its little bottom. So like it looks like it, it's like it's to turn. I might say, well, I want my bot to start straight away. So I can come in here and change this number. Let me just get rid of this. Put a plus sign in there and do 001. So that means the price has got to go up by 001 of a percent, and then the bot will buy in. I can change this for anything. So I might say, well, I want the bot to not buy in until the price goes up by 0.1%. Or I might say, I want it to not buy in until it goes up by 1%. I want to be really sure that the price is starting to go up. You know, there's no there's no set. You're not going to break this. But So if you've got a low budget, I would start off with lower um, lots. And you can always come in here, you know, if you, if you, you know, let's say you were starting this with what, what we got there, $40. Okay. You got $40 there. I could maybe change this to 50%. So now I'm going to be starting my bot off and I've got $30. So I might have $60 and I'll say, well, I'll put $30 allocated for this bot and I'll open up another bot. You know, I'll spread, uh, spread my risk if you like, you know, not keep all my eggs in one basket. Then in a week's time, I might come in and say, well, I've got another $30. Well, I could either set up another couple of bots or I might say, well, what I'll do is I'm going to add a lot to the bottom of here. And now that's gone up to $50, you see. So you can add lots, take them away, providing the robot hasn't bought the trade. You know, it hasn't opened the trade. Obviously, if it had bought this lot zip one here, you wouldn't be able to delete it off because it's already an open trade. And if we come back to the front here, uh, back to the trading bots on the front screen, and uh, we look, let's just go down the bottoms to some recent ones. So I've got this one here, uh, Coin98 that I've started. Now, if I click on this magnifying glass, this has only done a buy trade so far. But if I click on this, this if you see it here, it says buy date. Then it's got the date in there. Then it's got lots. Then it says the purchase. It gives you the information of how much coins it bought and how much was spent. Then it's got the sell date. Well, there's nothing in at the moment because the bot hasn't closed the trade. But this buy date, if I click it, this takes you over to the blockchain. So your funds are inside your wallet all the time. So what happens here is that your this is my wallet, obviously. So it took my fifty dollars, forty nine ninety eight, took my fifty dollars out of my wallet, sent it into Pancake Swap's liquidity pool, bought wrapped BNB, then it used Pancake's liquidity pool, uh, pool to buy with the wrapped BNB to buy this token coin ninety eight, and then it put the coin ninety eight back into my wallet. So if I go to um, let's get my wallet. I have to move this just to show you. If I get my MetaMask wallet, and I'm not going to show you in the wallet, but what I'm going to do is copy that, and then I'm going to, that's the wallet address, and I'm just going to put it in this search box here. Go like that. And then if you look here, this is my all my tokens. This is my wallet. So the, the blockchain doesn't lie, you know, so I'm not doing any skullduggery with the screen to try and show you a wallet that's not mine, but this is my wallet. And if I look down here, I've got to find that coin 98. It'll be sitting inside, there it is, sitting inside my wallet there okay so when johnny blockchain's robot buys a token for you it uses the stable coin that's inside your metamask wallet and then puts back the coin that it bought back into your wallet so you've got your funds all the time you can decide to do what you want with those funds johnny blockchain cannot withdraw your funds and send them to another wallet okay you can't do that so everything you do with the decentralized trading robot it all shows everything up on the blockchain. And if you was doing with the centralized, if I go, let's find one that's done a, a buy and a sell. Let's go see if we've got, I think this is done. Look, this one's made 16%. I need to switch this back on. So this is my beam. So if I bring this up. This is all my trade history. So here on the 23rd of February at 7.24 in the morning, it uh, did a buy trade. And if I click that, it takes me over to the blockchain. 
There it is. It's shown me that it used my stable coin and it bought Beam, put Beam obviously back in my wallet. And if I come back over here, you can see on the 27th of February at 3.18 in the morning, it sold the Beam. And if I click on that, it will again take me to the blockchain to show that the Beam came out of my wallet, went into Pancake Swaps liquidity pools for Beam. It bought, uh, it took, what did it take? It took Beam, put the Beam in here, exchanged the Beam for Rat BNB, and then exchanged the Rat BNB for the stable coin and put that 101.01.77 back into my wallet. And if you look here, oh, let's go Johnny Blockchain. If you look here, it will say here that uh, what it put back into my wallet. It says 101.8. You know, so everything is transparent. You can see every transaction on the blockchain and then it shows you here all of your movements. If you've got any errors with your robot, you'll see those here. So it says here not enough balance. That's a, that's a common error that people don't have enough stable coin in their wallet for the robot to carry out the trade. And it happens to all of us, you know, because I'm over trading at the moment, which means I started my if I come up the top here and let's just get rid of the the this one i think is it yeah so this is all my 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 robots here that i'm trading with and if i look at the top i had 900 dollars in my wallet well i'm over trading because i'm trading with 1498 dollars inside so because what what it means by over trading is that i've got more telling the robot i've got more money than i actually have and the reason that i do that is because i found that the robot doesn't use that many lots as you can see here look three lots five lots, two lots, coming down a little bit further, six lots, four lots, five lots, uh, sorry, four lots. Uh, here, three lots, four lots. So you see my robot, like this one here, if I look at this, it's, it's used one lot up, okay, one trading lot. And if I go into the settings, I'm going to click on expert mode. I've actually got it to trade with two lots, but so it hasn't done the two lots. So that's why I'm over trading, because even though it says here I need $75 for it to if it, that would be if the price was to keep going down, it would need that $75. But if the price doesn't and it keeps going, uh, it keeps making buys and sells with this lot zero. That What's this bot here? This was the beam. Let me just get this so I can find it again on the front screen. Did it? Here, here it is. So this, this, look, this is done 30 transactions. So it's not used, you know, $50 times 30. It's used or, you know, it's used $50 one time, kept trading that, buying, selling, buying, selling, buying, selling. You know, so it's done 15 buys and 15 sales. So that's that's why you don't always need all the lots when you're trading, you know. Um, so you can you can play with it. And what does it matter if you over trade and you, you don't have the funds available? You're not going to break anything. It just means your robot will switch off and you have to come in and do some adjustments, uh, adjustments to your settings, you know. Um, so I'll come back over to Zoom wherever I can find it. Where is it? Da, da, da. I can't find the screen now. <laughs> Never worked with <laughs> um, children and animals on the internet. If I stop that. I can stop share for you if you want. Yeah, to. I can't find, I can't even find the tool that I had that was, uh, if I've hid it somewhere. Is it here? Ah, oh. oh, here it is. Here it is. I've found it, I think. So I've got, got it. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So um, with the trading robot, it's, you can you can set it how you want. And the good thing is with the trading robot, as I say, when there's a bear market and the price is going down, the way the bot's designed is it gives you some of the profit. All the money goes into your wallet, but it shows you, you know, if it made a dollar, for example, it shows you it's only made 90 cents. The other 10 cents, even though that other 10 cents is still in your wallet, you don't think you've earned it because it's not telling you anywhere that you've earned that, that 10 cents. And it uses that 10 cents to bring down the average price or the, the lots above of previous lots that it can't close at the moment because the price is, you know, has dropped too much. So um, we got some, it's quite unique in, in the way that it does that. So I don't know if there's any questions there uh, at all, Francis or, or Charlie, if, the, if you want me to address any, anything in, in particular, but that's just an overview there of how easy it is to use the trading robot. For small lots in particular, well, starting with anyway, huh? Yeah, but the problem is when you start with this, this it's a double. It's a, what's the word I want to look for? It's if you've got a small budget, your bot needs to work that little bit harder to get you into profit. Because if you're trading, you know, you, if you're you, what you got to do is, if, you know, if you're if you're trading with say twenty dollars, for example, you're doing a trade for twenty dollars, the bot has to take into account. 
the blockchain fees. Yeah. Because it wants to give you the profit, doesn't it? So if it's going to use, say, 40 cents worth of blockchain fees, well, then the bot says, well, I've got to make at least $20.40 to cover the blockchain fees because you'll have a blockchain fee for the buy and you'll have a blockchain fee for the sale. So that means the price has got to go up. And I have got a, a little um, tool here that I did. Let me just see if I can find it. Bear with me. But Yeah, I saved that last night. That was good. Yeah, let me let me have a look to see. I've got it here on a spreadsheet. But if you're trading with a, a bigger a bigger amount, then the price doesn't have to move that much. That's the the good thing about it. That's right. So if I share my screen here again, let me start again. I can't uh, find the one. Da, da, da. Yeah, Where and then it? if you guys have questions, why don't you go ahead and raise your hand? Um, it's it's somewhat of a small group, but that way we'll for sure see. I know Steve when um. Jeremy's done with this question. Yeah, we can have you hop on. Or right, you can so put them in the chat share, as well. Let me know if you see this spreadsheet uh, document yep. here. Right, it. so look, if you were trading with, um, if I'll just walk you through this. So we got here the pancake fees, which is the blockchain fees, basically, you know. Um, so because uh, when you're trading with decentralized exchange like pancake swap, there's it's not a, an office they've got. They're they're pools that you're trading from are on the blockchain so it's a blockchain fee now you'll with every trade you've got to have a buy and you've got to have a sale for the trade to complete so that you'll have two sets of um blockchain fees now those blockchain fees tend to be around about anywhere from nine cents up to 20 cents i'll leave this i put here 17 cents now bearing in mind you would need two of those and if you look over here we've got the um the trade amount and then in this one here, we've got 34, which is if I change this uh, to 15, you'll see that that goes over there and then click out of the cell. That goes to 30 cents. And that's the blockchain fees. Now, if the next thing is where do I want to take my profits? Well, if I put in here 1.5%, because that's what the default settings are for the pancake swap bot. And I'm going to say that I'm trading here with $20. Right. Now, what we need to look at is this yellow box. So if I'm trading with $20 and the robot's got to take into account the blockchain fees, that means the price has got to go up by 3%. Now look what happens if I say, well, I'm going to trade with now $50. And I click out. The price now only has to go up by 2.1%. So if I'm now trading with $100 and I click out, you'll see that the price now has only got to go up by 1.8%. So when you're trading with smaller lots, your robot takes more time to make you a profit because it's got to have a bigger price movement. So the more that you're trading with on a particular lot size, because this is the lot size, this is not the overall budget. You know, when I showed you earlier, I said, well, look, I've got two lots here. One's for 50 and one's for 25. It's not the overall budget. It's what the lot size is. That very first lot you do, like number zero, that's what you would put in this box. And this there is a link for this uh, document inside the user guide. You can find this um, spreadsheet here. And then all you need to do is to come in and click on this file and make a copy. And then you've only got to change these blue numbers, these blue numbers that I've put here. You know, you don't change anything else because you'll mess the formula up. But this is courtesy of Joe. Joe Brook made this uh, spreadsheet for us. But so you can see that if you've if you're trading with a lower amount. So if I go back here, you see that's at one point eight percent market move. If I trade here with ten dollars. The market's got to move up by four point five percent for me to get my profit because the robots got to take into account the blockchain fees that are needed to carry out that trade. Yeah. Super so helpful. this is a good little tool to give you an idea. Mm -hmm. You know, because some people do come into our Telegram group and do send in support tickets and they say, I've seen somebody's bot. It's exactly the same bot that I've got, but they're making lots of trades and making more profit. And my bot's not moving that much. Well, that's probably because in nine times out of 10, we find that, you know, obviously they can start at different times. They can start different positions in the market. But nine times out of 10 is one person might be trading with, say, $100 or $50 a trade, and the other person might be trading with $10 a trade or $20 a trade. So the lower the, tr the amount that you trade with, the more the market's got to move for it to, to, you know, to take up, give you that profit that you need. Yeah, and I know Darius is on the call. I'd like to have him speak to his many bots going and um... – I think had some concerns over you've just profitability and it might take a little bit more like we're talking about management of those bots, but um, maybe we can address that here in a minute. Steve has a couple questions. So go ahead, Steve. 
Okay, hi. Hi, Jeremy. Um, pleasure to meet you. First time. Um, listen, I, I'm i familiar with the other platform that I think uh, Charlie is alluding to. And um, I was wondering, since you have these default settings in the bot, right? You know, probably most people will start with the default settings, although here you're talking about where you can customize them. Has there been some back testing data that's you've collected or is somebody working on that's posted somewhere? I'm in the I'm in the Telegram chat as well. I haven't asked any questions yet, but uh, mm -hmm. was curious on any back testing data. Yeah, th thanks. Uh, great question there, Steve. So first off, let me tell you that we Johnny Blockchain started off doing centralized trading robots, and we we started off um, around about nine years ago doing arbitrage. And uh, we found that arbitrage is almost near on impossible to do on centralized exchanges. Um, we then moved to creating uh, bots where you could buy and you could manually set it to, say, like a limit order type bot, if you like. And then we moved into the automated bots on the centralized exchanges on Binance, HipETC, uh, KuCoin and some others that we did. There was about 25 exchanges that we were working with. And then what we did was, you know, because of what happened with um, FTX, uh, Cryptopia and um, the New Zealand one. Yeah, that was Cryptopia. And, you know, there was a few other exchanges, the centralized ones that started going down. So we started to move our eyes towards decentralized. And we first integrated with uh, Uniswap. And then we went over to Pancake. And we did Uniswap first because there was no um, you know, Uniswap have documentation online that you can find. Pancake didn't. But Pancake was a fork of Uniswap. So once we got it to work on Uni, we could great straight away get it to work with Pancake. Now, sorry to be long-winded, but the reason why I'm telling you all that is that we first built the DEX bot, the decentralized one, around about 18 months to two years ago. Now, we over that 18 months, we didn't go live and tell everybody about it. We've got a few people that are actually on this call. There's Anthony, there's Blagoid that are on here um, that, have, that have been with us a long time. And what we did was we tested all the settings. We tested the data. Now, unfortunately, you cannot set the settings that will be for fitting everything. OK, so what we did was we found the common ground, if you like, or a, a ground that said, well, these are the best settings that we found that fit all of the decentralized bots. They work OK for all of them. They work brilliant for some of them and they work amazing for others. And then there's some others they don't work that great. So we have back tested. We've been testing this for a good 18 months. And we found that the default settings, if somebody's got the budget to set the default settings up, they'll handle a good bull market and a good, and sorry, they'll handle a bear market very well. Now, so that, yeah, we have tested it. We have tested it. But again, you know, you could set up everything sort of follows Bitcoin, doesn't it? Um, and then you've got the halving coming up. So you might set a Bitcoin bot up with the default settings. And then you might go and set up a, say, I don't know, um, a Dogecoin one. And yet the Dogecoin might outperform Bitcoin's robot because there's more, more, you know, more volatility. But so, yeah, we have tested it, but I would say, you know, being on a, um, you know, we can't find a golden strategy for every token that, you know, that I think would be near on impossible. That's why, I try and I've made a few videos in the getting started section or in the user guide to show people there is an alternative to the default settings. Right. And if you're not, if you're going to test it, test it with, you know, you're not going to break anything. You know, that's what the good thing about it. Obviously, you don't want to you lose your shirt. Um, but there is also the DEX trends. I don't know whether you've seen, Steve, have you seen that inside Johnny Blockchain? You've got the trends there. I am, I am in the midst of trying to get set up. So I've gone through some of the, so let me sh let me share the screen here again, and yeah. this will give you show you. Hopefully, this will let yeah, me know I'm, you see I'm, John. I'm actually, I'm actually going to eventually get into MetaMask. So, okay, so we're we're um, at the moment we're only working for the decentralized side of things. We're only working with MetaMask. We are looking to bring on uh, Trust Wallet, and um, there's a, a few other wallets that we're looking on. But we've got some other things to do in the pipeline first before we introduce new wallets. But on the dashboard, when you come in, if you're on the dashboard. And you click on this button here that says trends. Now, this is going to show you two tabs. This is for the Binance API. So we're only working with Binance.com at the moment. We are going to be joining, uh, introducing Binance.us. But I think that doesn't work for all of the US. I think New York can't use it. Um, but if we go to this one here, this tab here, 
This is the 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 uh, the decentralized pancake swap trading robots that members are actually using. So if you look, we go from left to right. Obviously, it's the token. It's got the con contract address. It's got this icon here, which is the chart that'll open up deck screener. You've got the 24 hour ROI. So it's 215 percent in 24 hours. You've got seven days, 30 days total ROI since this robot's been uh, running for this particular trading pair and how many robots are set up. So there's 106 members that are using this first robot. OK, so we've sorted you could sort this by um, these. These are all sortable, you know, so by yeah. default, we show you what the what the power is over the last 24 hours. But we all know that. Future results don't predict what's going to, you know, past results don't ref reflect future results. You know, that that could have a big pump today and then tomorrow it could, you know, could fall off the uh, off the, the face of the earth sort of thing. You know, so these are just here to give you a guideline. And if you wanted to set up this particular bot, then all you do is click on this plus sign on the end here. And that will take you straight to the settings. And then all you'd need to do is basically make it active and click save. And that's it. You've done. Unless, of course, you want to go to the expert mode. And you want to change some of the settings. You want to delete off some lots or whatever. But if you just wanted to set it up, you know, for the very first time, and you will said, well, I, I can afford to allocate $600. It's very unlikely to use that $600, I might add. As I say, that's got to drop at least sort of 80% in the market before it does. And I've got another spreadsheet, which I'll share in a moment. And all yeah. you do is approve these two tokens in the smart contract and your wallet. And that's it. You're good to go. It's, it's, it's done. Yeah, and Steve, so, those are covered in um, Jeremy's. And if you click getting started and where it says that, I don't know if you watch those, but super detailed, short videos that will cover every single thing, you know, you need yeah, to so, know. Yeah, so you've got the getting started. Go to the user guide. When you're on the getting started there, there's a video. Always always good to watch videos, you know. I, I've, I'm i a lover yeah. of videos myself. I've, whenever I join anything in the past, I've always watched the videos. And these videos will take you from A to Z. You know, right. even if you've never done, you've never set up a MetaMask wallet, you've never bought any crypto or anything like that, uh, or you've got crypto and you say, well, how do I get it into my MetaMask wallet? These videos will take you right the way through. And then yeah. right the way down the bottom, you've got all the bot settings to tell you what all the different settings are for. You know, um, each of these videos, I think the longest one is about five minutes, but most of them, you know, some of them are like literally a few seconds yeah. long, you know, so 60 helpful. seconds. Mm -hmm. um and then down the yeah. bottom you drop and, a few and I'm, I'm, work, I'm working my way through the videos so yeah i, I, I know about you know okay. all, all stuff, so awesome. um let, let me let me ask my second question real quick and i don't think it's really for jeremy but i'm just going to throw it out to the broader audience because al fritz and i are working on this my funds are in kucoin right now okay but i'm trying to move over to metamask i'm in the u.s of course. Uh, hey, Steve, I'm sorry. I just got to stop you. You, We can work offline with that or maybe with Al, but we got to stick to, we don't have much time with Jeremy. I okay. just want to respect right. that. So let's stick to the bot. And um, Susie has a question to clarify. Um, you set up the one bot with lots that will work for both up and down price movements. And I don't know that if you know this, Susie, but the Johnny blockchain bot is programmed to not take a loss. So it's going to buy, you know, all the way down. And then the, it's programmed to sell, you know, at certain um parameters and i don't know if you want to touch on that quickly jeremy but and, and you can just leave the default settings like what he was just saying but if you're into charts and doing what jeremy showed initially you can tweak it to what you think would make sense for the money you have in the bot and uh, the price movements you're anticipating does that make sense oh you're muted susie did jeremy fall off uh jeremy you're muted too somehow <laughs> oh yeah my, muted. that's that's i'm, okay. I'm that's mm -hmm. Right. So if I if I, I'll share my screen in a moment, but I want to find something on the screen first to sort of show what we're going to talk about here. Right. So here. Let's, so let me come back to Zoom and wherever it's gone. I always keep losing the Zoom. Here we go. Right. So I'll share my screen. And then bring up this. So look, if if we look at this bot here, this is a, a cake bot. OK. Um, now, this bot's got four lots outstanding, and it's telling me here the profit level. So it says that the price needs to get to three seven eight for it to sell all of the lots because it's picking up the um, you know the the average prices. So it's saying the profit level for this bot is this. Now, if you look here, because this is what's interesting. If you look here, it says average price. Well, the average price is higher than the profit level. So how can that be? How can how can it be saying, well, for us to get into profit, we're going to sell stuff for lower price than what we bought it for. 
So if you look here as well, it's got kept profits. So it's got $1.90, and, and, and I'm going to be doing a new video on this, and I'll share it with Charlie and everybody when it comes live. But we're changing the way this works. But this kept profits, if I go into this bot, and just to show you how this is done. So if we look at this this trade here, so it did a it did a buy trade. It used 100 USTD, okay, and then it sold, and it said it sold it for 102 uh, $102.28. But if you look over here, it says that the bot only made 60 cents. Well, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to work out that there's $2.28 adrift here. Where's the $2.28? Well, the $2.28 we know is in my wallet because we can click on this and it will take us over to the blockchain and it will show here that it's put that much back in my wallet, 102.28. So if I, oh, the tools are in the way again, bear with me. So if I go back to Johnny blockchain, we can see here that it says 60 cents. Well, now if we hover our mouse over here, we can see that there's 12 cents on the buy for the blockchain fee. And on this side, there's 15 cents for the blockchain fee. But still, the 12 and the 15 don't add up to $2.28. This robot has kept some of the funds that you see with your eyes. All the money's in your wallet. You've got it in your wallet, but you might not realize it's in your wallet. And that's what we don't want you to realize. We want you to think, well, I've only made 60 cents from this robot. I've only made 60 cents, where in fact, you made $2.28 because it's taking into account the two blockchain fees. And also what it's taking into account is it wants to, because this is lot four. So it needs to sell lot three. Lot two, lot one, and lot zero. So if it keeps back a bit of money, it can say, well, I spent on the previous lots, if I have a look here, I've spent $160. Now I've spent $160 less $1.90. So if it keeps keeping that profit and putting it aside to sell other lots, it's going to be able to sell those lots, keep you in profit, and release those funds so you can maybe start into the market with you know, with uh, uh, into other bots, basically. So it sounds a bit technical, if you like. It might be a bit go over your head, but I we have got some videos. I've got one video in the back office, but we're tweaking this. We're going to be tweaking this, and I'm really excited about the new tweak that we've got coming for this, okay? Um, so hopefully that sort of covers the, the question there, or it uh, gives you an idea that when the bot, when the price goes down, the bot can still trade down at that lower level. Yeah, I'm glad you awesome. brought up the kept profit because that's a, a common question that I'm not good at articulating. So I appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm. And then you kind of answered this in, in the comments. Someone asked how many cryptos are available for trading. And so you can expand on this in a minute, Jeremy. But what I like is we can share uh, the link and someone can start a free account, right? And then they can jump in and have full access almost to um, all the different pairs that are available. Is that accurate, Jeremy? Yeah, yeah, they can they can create with a free account. You can come in here, click on the the plus sign, and create a robot. It's just your robot won't trade until you're ready to you know purchase either a license that will I don't know if a license is the right word, but purchase access to the decentralized trading robot that works with PancakeSwap and Uniswap. That's twenty five dollars a year, um, and then obviously you'll need some funds inside your MetaMask wallet. But once you've done that, yeah, then you can you can you know once you pay for the package and you've set some blockchain fees into Johnny Blockchain, um, then you can trade. Yeah, so you can try it for free. You can come in, see how it looks, delete lots off, and watch a few of the videos or watch all the videos until you get the good feel for it. You know, But once the penny drops, it's, 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 it is quite easy. It's, it's very easy. Once you, you know, if you take a little bit of time to sort of educate yourself, you don't need to, you know, I look at it like this, you know, I get on an aeroplane and go on holiday. I don't need to know how the aeroplane keeps me in the sky. I just want to know it gets me from A to B. Your trading robot will get you a profit. That's what it's designed to do. You know, it's it's designed to get you a profit. If you're one of those technical people and want to really dive into it to find out how it all works and what's what cogs are turning in the background, there's videos in the user guide to show you all of that, you know. Yeah, and the point being with trading with these um, pairs that Jeremy has set up is you want to pick one too that you don't mind owning. So what if we do have a you know a little a blip on the screen like I had the Avax spot was down like fifth dropped had a big drop, um, and then I just left it, turned it back on, and now it's back and and you know doing doing its thing. So just keeping in mind the volatility, and I don't mind owning that one. So you know, well, what, there, there's, a, there's a good you've just, you've just triggered my mind there. Sorry, I wanted to cover this. Yeah. So with that kept profits. So I look at it like this. If you've if at the moment, if you if you say you've got a, a, a one robot set up, 
and you've got a bucket. And every time the trade makes you a dollar, you think it's only made you 50 cents, for example, and you put the other 50 cents in the bucket. Now, at the moment, the money that's collected in that bucket will only be used for that trading robot. But what we're doing is we're introducing two new tools. And this tool is that you'll be able to say, if you've got a, you know, I had a, I had a, a floaky one that it hung around for a long time. I started the bot nearly 18 months ago when Floki was going up and then everything sort of crashed down and I was stuck with this Floki coin. So we tested this new tool out. And basically I can say, if my bot makes a profit, so I've got, so I've got a Bitcoin bot and now I've got a Floki bot or in your case, an AVAX bot and a Bitcoin bot or a, uh, uh, you know, any other bot, it doesn't matter what the bot is, a Beam one or, a, you know, a Solana. And one bot is making profit all the time, but you've got other funds locked up in, say, your AVAX bot. You want to release those funds. And so what this new tool will be is you'll be able to allocate some of the profit to that other bot so that it could sell that, that AVAX in a profit to release the funds that you can then put into a new AVAX bot or put into a completely bot uh, whatsoever, you know, so... It's it, that, that's a new tool we're doing. We're also introducing a tool that's going to be called the Bitcoin Saver. So when your bot makes a profit, so if you make a dollar, when it's collected five dollars, it will keep all the profits up. The bot will obviously know you've made five dollars. It will now convert that five dollars into Bitcoin. So you'll be able to go into your robots and say, well, this robot, I've got a, an Ethereum one. I don't want Ethereum. But I want to make, I know Ethereum's maybe got good volatility and it trades well. I want to collect Bitcoin. So you'll have an Ethereum one that's earning you Bitcoin. You might have an AVAX one that's earning you Bitcoin. And that will all happen in the background and you'll have a statement to show you how much Bitcoin you've saved up. The Bitcoin will always be inside your wallet. You know, it's, it's not inside the website. So there are two new tools that we're going to be bringing online, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. That's awesome. And then the thing you mentioned earlier, Jeremy, about the error messages that can pop up sometimes that. Um... Yeah, well, we, we're, we're going to hopefully going to be integrating uh, by the end of next month. Um, we're, we're looking to give messages. We're going to be turning off some of the messages, uh, the error messages, because at the moment, whenever there's a bot, there's an error. The bot turns off and mm -hmm. you need to go in and see what the error is. Fix the problem if you can and then turn your bot on. Well, the only one you can really fix or the only few that you can fix is add more funds. Make sure that you've got the right allocation for the smart contract. But there is sometimes the bot will switch off because it did it couldn't do the trade for whatever reason. You know, the blockchain didn't get completed and it just happened to or the price changed too quickly. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be switching the robot off of that on that. So we're going to disable that. So it doesn't switch the bot, the bot off, but it will still have the error. But if it is an error like where you've got to add more funds to your MetaMask wallet, yeah. we want to send you an email to tell you that, you know. Awesome. Um, so we will be adding that that uh, messaging system for that. Perfect. I love that. That's one of the reasons we should check in on it daily, just to make sure no error messages have occurred and you don't want to miss, you know, a good price action because um, an error message popped up and your bot shut off. So um, anything else we want to add, Charlie? Um, I think Kara had another question. Can and... you post it in the chat maybe? Or I guess go ahead, Kara, yeah. just make quick because we don't have a lot of time. Yeah. Oh, no, sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Jeremy, when you were um, speaking about the low low capital, um, low budget at the beginning, thank you for that, by the way, um, you mentioned um, ask yourself two questions. So I got, what are you happy to hold? So f figure out those coins. And what was the second one? Um, and then my other question is, um, are, would, um, would it matter for uh, more volatile coins or less volatile for low budget? Uh, well, for a low budget, I would say, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. That's what we yeah, tell you that. And I'm not want to give anybody advice. But you, for a trading bot to get the, the best out of a trading bot, you want it to be a volatile token, don't you? You want those sharp movements up and down, up and down. That will then the robot can get in and get out, get in and get out. Now, the two questions that you should ask yourself is, one, would you be happy to hold that coin? Um, and trade it to, you know, to, and, and two, if the price did go down, you know, are you okay with it going down? You know, because if you go and let's say, I mean, Dogecoin or Pepe, for example, at a big pump, a lot of people buy it when it's on the, on the way up, they have that FOMO and then they end up, it comes back down and they're stuck with this coin. They say, well, what am I going to do with this? Well, if you, if you're trading a coin that you don't know nothing about, you haven't done any due diligence on it, but just because 20 other people are trading it and making money on it, you think, oh, I'm going to go in on that. That's not really a good move, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I would say you want to get to a coin that you're happy with to hold in your wallet 
it, if the price was to go down like Bitcoin, the top 50 or top 100 coins, those coins, I'm happy to to trade them mm-hmm. um, and hold them. And they didn't just pump. <laughs> yeah, just because yeah. it, whatever, you know, whenever a new coin launches, I mean, I'm in that deck screener uh, app there on Telegram. There's thousands, thousands of coins launching practically every week. You know, there's four or five hundred coins a day launching. Now, you know, you don't want to be trading those coins because they, they're going to pump and they're going to dump. You know, somebody's going to sell you their bag, aren't they? <laughs> well, and the coins that Jeremy has on the bots, there's only somebody with that, like 34 bots. So you, you've you already pre-selected ones that we can actually use. Yeah, well, you see what we do. If anybody wants to uh, send in, say, oh, I want a particular bo- uh, coin added, mm-hmm. we'll always look at the coin. But what we won't do is add a coin that's got low liquidity. We won't add a coin that's got a buy and sell tax on it because that the bot can't handle that buy and sell tax because we're only looking at blockchain fees. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously we've, we've picked coins that either members have given us or coins that we think, but we're, you know, we're not with the coins that are in the list. They're not recommendations. They're yeah. all coins that are tradable and we've either added them ourselves or we've, somebody's asked us to add them and we've added them. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a coin now I'm trading STG and they've moved their liquidity. They had 2.4 million. In liquidity, it's now down to two hundred and sixty dollars because they've moved it from one liquidity pool over to another. Because mm. um, on Pancake Swap, there's V two pool, liquidity pools and V three. Our robot at the moment only works with V two; doesn't work with V V three. Which something we're going to be introducing. But if it moves liquidity over, then you might be stuck. You'd have to go in and sell it manually on on uh, Pancake or something like that. You know, so you got to be. It's every you always must know that there's a risk involved whenever you're trading. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Jeremy. Charlie and Jeremy, both, and anybody else, is there, how do do you want to make sure we cover anything in particular, Charlie, or, and want to make sure you're good on time, Jeremy, we're almost at an hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I think it was pretty thorough. And uh, I would say, you know, this is a gr- great future for us as, as a tool. I know you guys are, you know, I, I love your model that you, you are taking profit and want to grow the, the company and the brand uh, and add more resources and tools for us. Do you want to touch on anything else that you might be um, adding? Yeah, at, well, there's, the there's a, there's, there's another section that we're, 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 in, we're exploring now. Um, now arbitrage, arbitrage is, you know, you buy on, in one place and sell a, a price and you sell it in a higher price. Those tend to not be available like everybody thinks they are. You know, there's a ton of robots out there saying that they're arbitraging only yet to, you know, to rug your money. Now, what we have noticed is between liquidity pools on the same exchange, like Pancake, for example, in V2 liquidity pool to V3. There's sometimes we've noticed a few coins now and we're still monitoring it. Uh, there's half a percent difference in that liquidity pool where you can buy from V2 and sell in V3. So we are looking, we're, we're not in the development stage, we're just scanning data at the moment, but we are looking to introduce a, an arbitrage bot that works with smart contracts. Mm-hmm. How close are we to that? I don't want to say. How far away are we to that? I don't want to say. But we're we're in a good place. We're in a good <clears> place. <throat> and I did post something in our main Telegram group to see if anybody picked up on the arbitrage and nobody did. Nobody said, ah, oh, because I said, can anybody see what I see? There was a half a percent difference in the two uh, liquidity pools on Pancake Swap. Now, most arbitrages systems, because I've done arbitrage, tried to do it many times with centralized, is you need to be, say, on Pancake Swap and Uniswap. But then you've got to you've got to work with two two liquidity pools on two different smart contracts. These ones are all in the same sort of Rooting, if you like, because Pancake, when you go over to Pancake Swap, you could buy a token and it could take you through a route that takes you through V2 pa- uh, liquidity pools or V3 liquidity pools. So it is something that we're working on and we're investigating. So watch this space regards arbitrage. And we believe that if we can do what we think is available, we will be the first because there's no I've tried them all. There's no no platform out there truly, truly doing arbitrage, mm-hmm. you know, so um, yeah. we're, think- we're looking. I think lastly, um, I, I, we'd love seeing all of us grow together. Uh, you did uh, incorporate a nice affiliate or super affiliate model. Uh, so I'm, I'm encouraging my people to help others and just share your links. Uh, anything, you, any results that you're seeing that are really impressive as far as organic growth and, and people sharing? 
we're 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 getting on average uh twenty people a day join. You know, the Kriam, uh, we we had a, a spike last week. There was a hundred people joined in one day. Um, so you know, YouTubers are starting to wake up to it. Um, you know, there is a few promoters out there that are doing you know promoting, but it's it's starting to it it will get to a point where it's going to go exponential, and that's what we want. You know that our the good thing is is with with this type of trading robot, it doesn't matter if you've got one person or a million people. You don't need the extra server power for it to trade because it uses very low power because it's only sending and receiving a signal from a smart contract. So, you know, once we get and and this I, I, and Johnny blockchain can change, you know, uh, exchanges like, um, you know, pancake swap love a trading robot, don't they? Because they make their money through fees. So, you know, they're never going to ban us. Oh, they can't ban us because it's smart contracts. They can't say, well, you can't have access to our site. So we, you know, there is an affiliate program that goes over four levels, and you earn, you can earn a, 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 an affiliate payment from when they pay for their license, but you'll also earn an affiliate payment from every trade that they do, from every profitable trade that they, 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 you know, they get back. You can earn a commission. So if you are a leader and you are a person that wants to promote, you know, you're going to earn a commission on top of what you're earning through your trading bots. Awesome. And all of that is talked about in those little videos. Right. They are. There's there's a video in the in the user guide there that touches mm -hmm. on the affiliate program. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm excited for what the future holds, Jeremy, with this bot and whatever else you guys have up your sleeve, because it's um yeah, it's amazing to have something in our Dex wallet that can work for us and Yeah, well the, the one thing I want to add um is that you know if you've got if anybody has got a criticism or they've got an idea, or they think we should change something, or we should add something, you know, the door's open. We're, it's, this is not, we don't want to have a closed community where we think we know it all, because we don't, you know, and it's somebody might have a bright idea and say, have you thought about doing this? We're not going to say that we're going to do every idea, but if you if you are a member, all you need to do is to go in and send in a support ticket mm -hmm. and tell us what you what you want, what you'd like to see. Most of the things that we put in the back office now with the trends, um, you know, and, and a few of the other things and videos that I've made and a few extra little tools that we've added along the way since we launched uh, back in the last year have come from members using it and saying, oh, it would be good if it could do this or it'd be good if I could see this. Mm -hmm. We're open to anything like that, you know, because we, we, that's how a company grows. And we want to we want to make this this robot the one place where people can have a safe, passive income. You know, that's what we want. That's the goal we want to achieve for as many people as possible. Love that. I love it. And thank you for being so willing to hop on a call and available, Jeremy, truly. I'm super grateful for that. Charlie, do you have anything else to add before we wrap? Yeah, so appreciative. And and yeah, feedback from the community is great. Good, uh, good questions today, guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can continue this on, you know, about every four, six weeks. Uh, and I, we just appreciate you for your your leadership, Jeremy, and, and the resources you're providing for us. Thank you very much for having me. It's always a pleasure. And I'm always available for you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, bye. -bye. bye.